It's a 50-50 proposition. I've got a lot of people up, 23 Republicans, only 12 Democrats. There are dogfights all over the country. All right, Mitch McConnell talking about a dogfight even he's experiencing in his home state of Kentucky right now. Uh, polls are tight there, although they've loosened up a little bit. You're looking live at Newtown, uh, Pennsylvania. The president is going to make four stops in the Keystone State today. Uh, he has devoted an incredible amount of time, energy, effort, and campaigning in this state that he shocked the world winning four years ago. He hopes for a repeat performance right now. Early indications are that polls are tightening there. But you never know with all of this uh, as to what happens not only in that state, but in the nation and the national vote and the future of the United States Senate. Chuck Grassley joins us right now, the Senate Judiciary Committee member, uh, Republican from the beautiful state of Iowa. Senator, um, very good to have you uh, with us uh, this morning. Your take on what Mitch McConnell was saying, a 50-50 sort of a crapshoot on Republicans maintaining control of the Senate. What do you think of that? Well, I think he's right, but I sure have seen the improved uh, chances of winning in Iowa, Joni Ernst. I, uh, Republicans have a lot of energy on the ground here in Iowa. I did six events with Joni Ernst yesterday, and I'm about to go to another one just as soon as I'm done with this interview. We have President Trump coming to Dubuque uh, tomorrow for a big rally. I think that I have seen... Uh, really uh, the same energy, all, albeit unpredictable, but it seems to be very similar to what we saw in 2016. You know, Senator, we've seen these spikes in cases. The president says it's really testing that's yielding that, that uh, it's nothing more than that, on that we're rounding the bend. But in a lot of these states, including Iowa and o Ohio, Wisconsin, and some of the others, uh, those spikes are coming at the worst of times for the president, maybe even for, you know, vulnerable Republicans uh, and, and your push to see that the Senate stays Republican. Are you worried about that, the timing of it all? Well, it's a, it's a top priority for a lot of people, but don't forget, uh, the economy is the top priority uh, for 56 uh, percent of the people approving of what pre President Trump's done in that area. And I think when it comes to fighting the pandemic, uh, from closing down air flights from China way back in January to setting up the uh, warp speed process to get vaccines up and running, uh, what he's done to get more ventilators uh, out to not only in the United States but around the world, and uh, he, he uh, and the PPE stuff, and helping small business when the economy shut down with the uh, Paycheck Protection Program. Uh, I think he's shown a lot of uh, uh, ambition to help fight uh, the virus. And you know how it's uh, expanding around the world. I would hope people would uh, be realistic to, to know that this is something that we're in a fight until we get a vaccine to get it under control, not only in the United States, but around the world. Do you... Um worry when Mitch McConnell says things like, you know, any sort of stimulus is more likely a 2021 development. Do you think that's true, that if there is to be stimulus, um, it's a 2021, not a sometime this year event? Well, of course, uh, uh, of course, uh, Senator McConnell runs the United States Senate, and I think he'll be running it with uh, a majority uh, after uh, January 1st. But in the meantime, uh, if uh, I think Trump's going to be reelected, and if it's if he's reelected, I think we'd rather get this stuff out of the way before the new Congress takes over. And uh, but uh, uh, McConnell makes that decision. But I I would be an advocate for doing it in November or December. Um, Senator uh, Joe Biden indirectly took a swipe uh, at at you uh, by by talking about the president's inability. To, to reconcile the, the House and the Senate on this, that it wasn't a Nancy Pelosi problem. It was originally the Donald Trump problem and a failure to get the House and the Senate together on this. This is what he said exactly. I want you to react to it. Joe Biden, earlier this week. I'll bet even Senator Grassley would have to acknowledge that I don't ever remember any president in a crisis where there's a disagreement in the House and the Senate 
between Democrats and Republicans. Didn't even try to bring them together to deal with this. Well, of course, there's a two-stage. Uh, well, uh, yeah, he, he and I got along all right when he's a member of the Senate, and we'd still be getting along all right if he had sold out to the to Senator Sanders and the progressives and the AOCs and all those. But uh, he can express what he wants to. But don't forget that Democrats repeatedly blocked our efforts on the floor, that we couldn't even get seven Democrats to go along with us to bring up a bill that maybe they didn't like, but a bill that if they let us get it up for discussion, they could amend it. And by amending it, they could get all of their priorities up, but they didn't even right. want to discuss it. The last week of July, the first week of September, and twice during October, they stopped us from getting a stimulus bill. All up. right. So uh, Biden better talk to his own people. All right, Senator Grassley, thank you very, very much.